Hello aspirants, welcome to India for AS. This is Manjunath Mudor. In this video, we are going to study about Supreme Court verdict on Article 370 abrogation. Moving on to the features of Article 370. So, Article 370 granted special autonomous status to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. It has its own constitution and it has a vast decision making powers in state list, concurrent list and union list except in the areas of defense, communication and foreign affairs. It has granted dual citizenship. The residents of the state of Jammu and Kashmir were considered citizens of the state as well as citizens of India. This dual citizenship provision was exclusive to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. No other state in India had this feature. Then it granted special rights and privileges to the residents in matters of property, ownership and employment. It is the only state in India. It has its own flag along with the national flag of India. Central laws are not automatically applicable to the state of Jammu and Kashmir. The state government's concurrence or agreement was required for the application of central laws. The state had its own constitution and jurisdiction. Only a limited set of Indian laws applied to the state. Moving on to the background of the current Supreme Court judgment. In August 2019, Article 370 abrogated by President Order in the state of Jammu and Kashmir and it created two union territories Jammu and Kashmir with Legislative Assembly and Ladakh. Through this precedent order, the special privileges which were granted to the state of Jammu and Kashmir were stripped. Then coming to the current Supreme Court verdict, the verdict is given by constitutional bench consisting of five judges and the verdict is unanimous decision. It means all the five judges gave concurring opinion and there is no dissent by any of the Supreme Court judge. The judgment is around Article 370 of the Constitution and the Supreme Court upheld the President's authority to revoke Article 370. The Supreme Court verdict said that Article 370 is a temporary provision. It was included to facilitate the accession of the Prince State to the Union of India during the period of internal strife and war and Jammu and Kashmir gave up any sovereignty when it executed the instrument of accession to the Union of India in 1947. The Supreme Court said that execution of instrument of accession means that the Jammu and Kashmir relinquished any element of sovereignty. Then coming to the special privileges and a separate constitution. These are the features of a symmetric federalism rather than indicators of sovereignty. They should not be considered as an element of full independence, but rather aspects of federal arrangement. In the judgment, the court also ordered the establishment of Truth and Reconciliation Commission to address the issues of violation of human rights since 1980s. The court gave few reasons for the temporary nature of Article 370. The first one is the Article 370 served the transitional purpose by facilitating the establishment of constitutional assembly in Jammu and Kashmir. And this uh, assembly was responsible for the formation uh, drafting the state constitution. And the second reason is that to ease the integration of Jammu and Kashmir into the Union of India during warlike situations in state in 1947. The third reason court gave is Article 370 is placed in Part 21 of the Constitution and it was titled as Temporary, Transitional and Special Provisions. This indicates that the framers of the Constitution intended it to be a temporary measure, not a permanent feature of the Constitution. And the fourth reason is that these temporary transitional and special provisions are 
intended to transition to from the institutions created under government of india act 1935 to newly constituted institutions the fifth reason court gave is by adopting the constitution of india on january 26 1950 the jammu and kashmir state became an integral part of india the sixth reason is any interpretation of article 370 should not suggest the integration of jammu and kashmir with india was temporary so it became permanent part of india after the adoption of the constitution coming to the issue of sovereignty yuvraj karan singh's proclamation specified that constitution of india should govern the relationship between jammu and kashmir and union of india and this proclamation has a effect of merger similar to the other constituent that joined india then chief justice of india also noted that the jammu and kashmir constitution lacks a reference to sovereignty another reason court gave is article 370 is simply a feature of asymmetric federalism and this article is similar to articles 371a to 371j these articles provide special arrangements for different states and these special arrangements have varying degrees of autonomy and this autonomy should not be equated with federal setup as existed in usa moving on to the elections in jammu and kashmir the court expressed view that the statute of jammu and kashmir should be reinstated and it gave a deadline of september 30 2024 to conduct the elections to the legislative assembly of jammu and kashmir This is about brief discussion of Supreme Court verdict on Article 370. The handout is available in our WhatsApp and Telegram channel, which you can download. The link to WhatsApp and Telegram channel are available in the description box. Thank you.